I really like the, the, the ZMA, it helps me sleep a lot better. And even throughout the day, you know, I'll just take a little nap here and there, which allows me to work harder and keep that intense, you know, training going. Congratulations on signing Tyson Fury. Do you have any plans for him so far? Who? Tyson Fury. Yeah, Tyson Fury is going to fight uh, either in May or June in the United States against the top contender. Do you know who he's going to face yet? Excuse me? Do you know who he's going to face yet? No, not until we have uh, offers out, but uh, we're waiting for a signed contract. Are you in negotiations what? with Wilder at all? Well, sure. We're, we're, Wilder apparently is going to do an interim fight as well on the 18th, I think. And then hopefully we can match him up uh, because we tried uh, to sign Wilder, uh, give him a, 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 a tune-up fight, uh, then have him fight uh, 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 Tyson Fury. Uh, but they decided to do the tune-up fight themselves, which is their prerogative. But we're still obviously open, and we'll sit down with them uh, to do a match between Fury and Wilder sometime uh, uh, the end of this year. How do you think uh, Wilder Fury? How's it work out? Does it have to happen on ESPN? Is it a, a cross platform? It, it is a pay-per-view event. A pay-per-view event. You can have more than one entity distribute that event. You know, those are problems that within two or three days you can work out. Those aren't major problems. There's an issue of uh, who does the pickup, who's announces a youth, but you can solve those problems relatively easily. Those, that's, this is not rocket science. Now, if you don't want to do the event, then you can use those issues to block the event from happening. But these are issues that are easy to solve. So it would have would it have to be like ESPN, Showtime, pay per view together. Something well, like we don't know if Showtime will be involved. We don't know until we sit down and see what's what. We we don't know. I mean, what is everybody bringing to the table? I mean, it's wonderful to have ESPN and Showtime or ESPN and Fox uh, doing the distribution, but. Hey, who's putting up the money for the damn thing? I mean, you know, that's, you know, if Showtime, Showtime is backing their guy and we're backing our guy, and that's how the money, well, then I'm sure they're, they're entitled to do the distribution. But if ESPN is putting up the money for the whole show, why would you need somebody else to be a distributor? Do you still hold fast that Showtime's on its way out? Do you still feel that way, Bob? I, I, you have to understand. The world is not about boxing. Showtime's competition is Netflix, just the way HBO's competition is Netflix. And HBO realized they need all the money in their budget that they have to develop ser new series and that they can use uh, as an answer to Netflix and also to please their customers. Showtime is virtually in the same position. So therefore, when I say that I think they will be out of boxing, it's because that is logical. Not because they're not good uh, network to show boxing, not because Espinosa is not a, a, a good programmer. Nothing to do with that. But the economics are the economics. It's different. That's all I'm saying. My prediction that I think Showtime will be out of boxing is sort of based on the rationale of why HBO dropped boxing, and that had nothing to do with the viability of the sport. It had more to do with using their assets for their entertainment.